briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1998, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the United States v. Estate of Romani case, which centered around a dispute over the priority of claims between a federal tax claim and a judgment creditor's lien on real property. The case began in 1985, when Romani Industries won a $400,000 judgment against Francis J. Romani, which became a lien on all his real property. Later, the Internal Revenue Service filed a series of tax liens totaling about $490,000 on Romani's property for unpaid taxes, interest, and penalties. When Romani passed away in 1992, his estate consisted of real estate valued at $53,001, encumbered by both the judgment lien and federal tax liens. The estate sought permission to transfer the property to Romani Industries, but the federal government opposed the transfer, claiming that the federal priority statute gave it the right to be paid first. The Pennsylvania Supreme Court authorized the transfer to Romani Industries, and the U.S. Supreme Court granted certiorari to resolve the conflict. Ultimately, the Supreme Court held that the Tax Lien Act of 1966 governed when the government claimed a preference in an insolvent estate of a delinquent taxpayer and that the priority statute didn't authorize a secret lien as a substitute for a tax lien. The court affirmed the decision of the Pennsylvania Supreme Court, allowing the transfer of the property to Romani Industries. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.